drop foot. What can I do to get back flexibility for my ankles? So I say this every month and I'm probably never going to stop saying it. Hopefully you guys keep showing up and you don't get annoyed with me. But if you have a tight calf, there's a good chance that you don't have drop foot. So it's always, it's good to know whether you have a spastic ankle or whether you have true drop foot. True drop foot is your foot is floppy, meaning that the muscles that lift the foot up are not working either because you had damage to your brain or you had damage to your spinal cord or you had damage to the nerve down in your lower leg that supplies that ankle. In most cases, if you've had damage to your brain, the bigger issue is spasticity or involuntary pointing down of your foot. So that's important because when you Google stuff, if you Google foot drop, you're going to get a lot of exercises and braces that really are not appropriate for for you if you have spasticity. But so I'm just going to go over how do you stretch the Achilles in general. I would say number one is to have a night splint. Absolutely the best uh, treatment or the best thing you could add to your daily routine is to wear a night splint at night. That is eight hours of prime time to get a good stretch while you're sleeping. That's what a night splint does is it's a boot that you wear at night. Remember when you're sleeping and there's sheets on your bed, your foot's pointed all night. So it's going to be tight. Now, the next thing I would say is just stretching with a foam wedge. So if you go to any of my videos on YouTube and you type in Rehab HQ and Ankle Spasticity, pull up any of those videos and go to the description and I have foam wedge link uh, so that you can purchase the the foam wedge directly from the link. And oh, also we do have a store on Amazon. I forgot about that. So you could visit our store on Amazon where I have links to all these products as well. But um, you want a foam wedge and you basically just want to stand on it. That is by far the best stretch because you're using your body weight. Using any of those straps that you find on Amazon probably isn't going to work if you have spasticity because there's just you don't have enough arm strength. It's way better just to get your body weight over your ankle to stretch that Achilles. If you liked that video, check out these two videos down here. If you want even more support or ideas on how to improve your overall health and movement quality, check out our gold membership program. As a member of that program, you will get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly live Q&A where you can get your specific questions answered. I enjoyed spending time with you all today, and I will see you here on YouTube in the next video.